Hello friends and today in this video we will be discussing about Rutherford's alpha particle scattering experiment, the discovery of nucleus and Rutherford's atomic model. So before starting, if you are new to my channel, do support me by liking this video and subscribing my channel. I am Mishish Mahajan, you are watching Easy Learning with Mishish. So let's start. So before starting, let me tell you the answer of the question which I asked in my previous video. The question was, does the positive sphere occupies more space than the negative particles in Thomson's atomic model? And yes, the answer commented by you is right. The positive sphere occupies more space than the negative particles in Thomson's atomic model. Now, let's discuss Rutherford's alpha particle experiment. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford bombarded alpha particles on a gold foil and gave the concept of nucleus. The observations of this experiment were most of the alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil. Some of the alpha particles got deflected and came back with large and small angles respectively. Only a few alpha particles, about 1 in a 20,000 were deflected in a straight line. Based on this experiment, Ernest Rutherford concluded that Thomson's atomic model could not be correct because of the following reasons. Most of the alpha particles passed straight through the gold foil. This proves that atom has mostly empty spaces. Since a very few particles were completely bounded, the atom could not be spread in the form of a sphere. The thinly positively charged core was later named as nucleus. A large deflection of alpha particle could only take place because of its encounter with a positively charged particle, that is, the nucleus of the atom. Rutherford estimated the diameter of the nucleus to be 10 raised to power minus 13 cm and that of an atom to be 10 raised to power minus 8 cm. Thus, the diameter of an atom is 10 raised to power 5 times greater than the diameter of the nucleus. Ernest Rutherford thereafter proposed his own atomic model which had the following postulates. Atom consists of mostly empty spaces. The entire positively charged mass is present at the center of the atom. This concentrated mass is named as nucleus. The size of the nucleus is very small as compared to the total volume of the atom. The electrons within an atom must revolve at a very high speed around the nucleus in order to counterbalance the electrostatic force between the protons and the electrons. Now, let's discuss the drawbacks of Ernest Rutherford's atomic model. Rutherford could not explain the stability of an atom. According to classical electrodynamics, an electrically charged particle, when it is rotating, it radiates energy. In this case, the electrons will radiate energy and will meet with the protons which are positively charged particle. Hence, the atom will collapse. However, the atom is quite stable. After Ernest Rutherford, in 1913, Niels Bohr also proposed his atomic model. We will discuss his model in the next video. And now, it's time for the info box. Today's info box is that do you know? Ernest Rutherford is also considered as the father of the nuclear chemistry. And now, it's time for today's question. Today's question is that what could be another name for Ernest Rutherford's atomic model? Do let me know in the comment section below. Till my next video, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy and easy learn with Vishisht. Thank you.